Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these micro disc bound notebooks with the clear cover or with the laminated cover, but it's a cover that you can change out. So, for instance, I have some Project Life cards here. You may have to trim those down, but I think this one might fit in here. So, you can slide maybe one of your small Project Life cards in. Okay, and then also in the back, same thing, it's a cover. So, like I said, this is a, a micro size notebook, so it's approximately three by four. So, these are a bunch of Project Life cards that I pulled out just to show you, you know, some of the things you could do as far as the cover. You can layer and insert things in here, so you could just like you decorate your dashboards and your planner you could do that add some stickers actually write yourself a note whatever you want it's really the same concept as the reusable dashboard uh, it's just a, kind of on a smaller scale and a few different minor changes and for this I am using the Duralar it's an acetate alternative and it's heat resistant and I just I like this better than trying to deal with acetate um, or the clear bags but you can also do this with just laminate so maybe I'll come back and show how to do it with just laminate since I've already cut my Duralar sheets and I get this from Amazon and I'll leave a link below um, it's also listed in my Amazon shop but I'll leave a link below to the Duralar this is just a piece of scrapbook paper that I thought might look nice if I don't want to use the Project Life cards or in addition to the Project Life cards, but I just thought this was a striking paper. So I'm going to use this for our cover. Okay. So to start with, if you're using laminate, you would do the same thing. Um, you need to trim down your laminate or your Duralar or whatever you're using, trim it down to three inches by four and a quarter inches so that's three inches wide four and a quarter inches tall and I did two sheets because these are going to make the pocket once they're laminated so two sheets for the front two sheets for the back if you're using a laminate pouch this is just a scrap piece I had I would have cut this at three by four and a quarter and three by four and a quarter then flip the pieces inside out like so so the shiny sides were touching on the inside and that's the way I would put it in the laminate pouch but for now we're going to use Duralar I may like I said add on a quick demo of how to do it with the laminate so this is five mil laminate and this is a scotch laminate pouch okay so I'm going to take my two pockets make sure they're lined up lint free as possible um, fingerprint free you need to make sure that on one or the other size you leave plenty of space I'm gonna go all the way to the top on this plenty of space so that you'll have a margin for your punch So yeah. So you need space for your margin punch and space to trim around the pockets or the covers. Make sure everything is lined up. Make sure these are in the correct position because they don't seem like they are. okay so again make sure you leave room now I don't want to waste all of this laminate I can actually use this excess for another project just like I had that piece up there so I'm just gonna trim this off not too close
Okay, so I'm going to save that for something else. Probably should have cut that with a um, paper trimmer, but... Okay, so now I'm just going to laminate this like I normally would. You don't do anything special. Okay, so now we have our pocket sealed up. I'm going to set this aside for a moment. Um, this is what it'll look like when it comes out of the laminator. Let's see if you can see it better on the paper. So you have like two clear pockets there. So I'm just going to get my paper trimmer and I'm trimming these up like I normally do. Making sure not to break the seal. But I'm only trimming the right side, the top, and the bottom. I'm going to have to do some measuring for our left side. I think my laminate moved a little bit. There we go. So leave, just do the top, bottom, and leave your left side. Now that's whichever one you choose to, whichever side you choose to be your left side, because at this point there is no specific side. Okay, so now we've trimmed all three sides. This is the side that we're going to punch for the disc. And here is where we measure. So to measure this, I'm going to place this with the side that I've trimmed on the left side. Not the top, the bottom, but the side. I'm going to put that at three and a half and trim off the excess. Okay. Now you might want to do a little bit more depending on your punch. If you're using a Happy Planner punch, these measurements might not work for you. So you may have to experiment a little bit with it. But um, for the punches with the shorter mushrooms, this should work. And I'm going to do three and a half. Again. so this is what they look like so one side is wider to allow for your punch okay enough of that so I'm going to get my punch out go ahead and punch these and put the rings on oops okay so you would align this however you need to do it to um, center your punches. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that. It's punched. Okay. Let's do the other one. Now, however you align this on um, your punch, depending on how your punch is, you only want it to punch four holes. So make sure you're aligning it so that it only punches um, four in four places. Okay, so we're getting there. Now the next step is to open the pocket. Um, and I'll need a blade and a metal ruler. So I'm going to use this piece of chipboard to protect my surface. When I'm cutting, I'm going to decide which side I want to be the front, how I want to open these. So this is going to be the way my book is. This is the top, this is the bottom. I'm going to flip to the inside and break the seal right here at the top. So right there at the very edge where that bubble is, is where we're going to break the seal. And you can kind of see where it is when you're up close and personal and you don't need to just swipe all the way across you only want to go 
where the bubble is. And you want to use a light stroke so that you can control not too hard. You're not trying to cut all the way through. You're just trying to cut that first layer of laminate so that you can open it up. There we go. Sometimes it's a little stubborn because you're not trying to cut all the way through the plastic. Okay. So now we have our pockets. And I'll just take one of these and show you. See. Now again, you may have to trim this down because it's really tight, but something three by four and a quarter should fit in here. Four is a little short because this needs to be four and a quarter to help cover what you have on the inside, but you could do three, three by four. Um, and then we're gonna open this one here. Just find the bubble. Okay, so that one opened up easier. Okay, so that one's open. This is the inside back. See, this one's a little tighter. There we go. Okay, so you can slide that in there. Then you, I'm gonna go ahead and round these corners. Um, I did the quarter inch rounding on those, so that's what I'm gonna do here. Quarter inch. This is another reason why you don't want to trim your laminate too close, because if you're too close, when you do your corner rounding, you could um, break the seal on the corner. So you kind of have to be careful with that. So that's that. Now I'm going to make my inserts for these, meaning the inserts for the cover, not for the notebook. Um, and I'm going to put my disc on. So I have some discs here, corners around it. Now let's trim the paper. Um, I think I'm going to use the more busy side so that we can get a lot of bang for our space. So I'm going to trim this to the four and a quarter, and I may need to trim a little off of this afterwards, but we're going to start there. Four and a quarter. And then by three. Ooh, that was a bad cut. Okay. So let's see. Is this my front? Yes, I think. Yes. So I'm just going to slide this in. Hopefully it'll fit. And see, this is where I'm saying you can layer and add sentiments, embellishments on here. As long as it can slide down into the um, plastic or to the pouch, then you're good. And then if you want to, on the, on the ones I did previously, I used a double-sided paper but I could just cut another piece and slide this in there or I could just leave it white and slide my stickers in there if I want to um, let's see I have this little die cut you can slide your die cuts down in there I mean it's just like any other clear pocket that you use in planning or your notebooks or whatever the case may be depending on how you're using this you could even fold up your receipts and slide your receipts down in there. I don't want to push that down in there because I don't want to tear off the little delicate pieces trying to get it back out. But you get the drift. So I'm going to trim this one and slide it in the back. I love this pattern on this paper. I'm going to trim it down just a little bit because I don't want to have to fight with it. So I'm just going to take a slither off. That's better. Uh, 
Okay. Mm. If I can get it right. Okay, so now I'm going to open my disc. I got these discs from Joanne. I know I got them on sale. Um, these are the mini discs for the Happy Planner. So I know Tool has some discs similar in size. So does um, Tool is at Office Depot. And the other brand is Oh, why can I ever remember that brand? Arc, because I use their punch. <laughs> um, Arc is at Staples. So, but both of those brands have these discs. Um, I tend to get the ones from Happy Planner because I can buy them from Joanne or Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And I can use a coupon and get a discount. Really, that's the only reason um, that I do that. And... You know, when they have like the big 20% off your total purchase, things like that. That's when I try to collect them. So anyway, I'm just going to pop these on the disc. I should have did both of them at the same time. But is this my front? Okay, you have to pay attention to the front and the back too. Because <laughs> I get them mixed up. Okay, this is the front. Especially if you're using like the same papers. So this is what the notebook looks like. You can add in whatever um, papers you want. I have some pink papers here that I've already punched. So I'm just going to pop those in. Oops. And these are three by four pieces that I've just punched with the the arc punch. So this is what it looks like. Now the difference with this is you will have this because of the the way the pocket is. You will be able to see the inside of the notebook. What you can do is something that I have done is use a piece of whatever paper you use on the cover as some somewhat of a dashboard let me show you how I did that so I think I cut it at when I did it before at like three and a quarter wide just to make it a little bit bigger than my inserts and then I'm gonna punch it because it's already four and a quarter or four yeah it's four and a quarter high so still might end up needing to trim it it's really all to your taste whatever you like um, I recommend that's just the way you do it so center that maybe I'll leave that out and pop this on here so you could lam even laminate this and make it like a little laminated dashboard um, I think I went around the corners too just to make it extra finished off give it that nice finished look okay so then that kind of helps hide that border on the side and then you get a nice piece of the pattern paper to begin with so there is that okay so I'm gonna do a quick run through on how to make one of these I used the Doralar for this one but I'm gonna do a quick run through on how to do it with just the laminate I gave a brief example but I want to go ahead and show you exactly what to do Okay, so I'm going to use the leftover laminate from the covers that I just made and then this piece, these pieces that I had from something else. I'm going to make sure my laminate is lined up the way it needs to be. It's a little tricky when they're, they're not actually connected to each other to keep them lined up. So 
There we go. Okay. So I'm going to trim off the rounded corner part first, which is about a quarter of an inch. So that we have straight edges to work with. And I'm going to turn it this way and trim at four and a quarter. And then I need to do three inches twice. So I'm going to do three. So this is one pocket. Remember there's two pieces of laminate here. And then I'm going to do three. Okay. So now we have our pockets ready to go. And I'm going to use this piece, let's move these, this out of the way, as my piece to run through the laminator. So I'm going to open it up. Keep in mind that I cut this off of another piece, so there's nothing holding these two together. Okay, so I, right now they're shiny, right now they're shiny side out. Okay, what I want to do to make the pocket is separate them, I can, and put the shiny sides on the inside. So the dull is out on this side, the dull is out on that side. The reason you do that, the shiny side is the side that's normally on the outside of the pouch and it won't seal the sign. <laughs> The shiny won't seal to itself, but if you put these two dull sides together, they will seal to themselves. So we're putting dull, 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 okay? I, I know people have had problems with doing this, so I'm trying to explain it as best as I can, but I think it's kind of a trial and error thing if, if it seems confusing. You kind of just have to try it. And really, I mean, it's not like you're going to break anything, so it's not going to hurt to try it. So again, I'm opening up what I cut, and flipping them inside out, putting shiny to shiny so that my dull, or my dull is on the outside. Okay, and the biggest thing with this is making sure that these pieces don't slide around and that they're lined up before you put them in the laminator. Okay, so now let's bring the, the old laminator back up here. This is a little closer to the edge than I like, but because I'm dealing with laminate, I'm not going to play around with it shifting and moving. I'm just going to go ahead on and feed this in here carefully. And I know some of you have the scotch laminator that um, you feed from the back like this at an angle. So it's a little more difficult to me. I have a scotch too. I just prefer this one. Um, to do that so you kind of probably need to be a little more careful with your uh, pocket sliding around that's another reason why I like the Duralar I mean the laminate is really convenient you don't have to buy anything extra to do this but I like the Duralar because it kind of sticks to itself so when I place it it stays wherever I place it if that makes any sense if I place two sheets together they kind of suction themselves together okay so now I'm going to trim this one up it's a little hot remember we want to keep plenty of room on one side and we don't want to break our seal so now I'm going to trim this at three and a half inches Go ahead and punch these. Well, let's break the seal. So I'm just breaking the seal. I'm not trying to cut through anything but that first layer of laminate. And there we go. So you got a pocket.
And I can just choose some papers that I want to use. Um, let's the thing with this is you won't be able to trim something that specifically matches the inside. But I think these are really cute. Oh, let's punch the holes first. <laughs> okay. This is my front piece. Remember, we line it up so that we get four holes and not five because you can't fit five on here. You'd be really, really close to the edge, but five will fit. Okay. Okay. So let's see. I thought this one was really pretty, but I also like these florals. This little girl, eh, she's okay. <laughs> I, I got two of some of them and then just one of others. I don't know why I did it that way. Let's do this little pink floral since I have two of them. And it has the swans on the back. And if you see what I'm saying, you have a little extra space at the top and the bottom with the Project Life cards. But they still look nice. And then put this one in the back. Okay, so all that's left to do is add some papers, add your decor, make it cute. <laughs> And you're all set. I think I'm going to use this one. No. Maybe one of the girls because the pink will show. Yeah, let's do one of the girls. So I'm going to line this for four. And voila, so we have two little notebooks. I think this one has a little more paper in it. But that's how you can make them. That's with scrapbooking paper or scrapbook or pattern paper and using Duralar and laminate pouches. And this one is using all laminate with Project Life cards. So you can switch, switch it all up, change it around any way you want. I think that one is cute too. I'm going to add that to it. <laughs> but anyway, so that's it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.